inside the A6, so we're gonna, we're gonna go through some of the highlights in terms of uh, engineering. So we developed a brand new three inch compression driver for the A6, specifically for this product to make sure it performs uh, the same, at the same level as the A8 and the A12. It's a two-way system with a new RBI. So RBI is the horn technology that we have. So you see some of the plastic parts in front of the woofers. So that is what we call an RBI. So that's new for A6. Uh, we have new woofers and new ports. So the point here is that A6 was developed from the ground up, from brand new transducers, brand new uh, acoustic design. So there was no reuse from our existing catalog. It was a, a, a big project for us, and everything was designed specifically for the A6. Now, what makes the A-series a very strong family is the high-frequency compression driver. So a lot of what gives line arrays their character in terms of sound is the compression driver. So usually all of the things that we tend to like or not like about systems is from one kilohertz and above, uh, which means whatever character we receive from a sound system comes from the compression driver, and as an extension of that, the waveguide. And with the A12, we kind of turn everything around and we redesign the compression driver and the waveguide system for the A12 to be, uh, for, to be to use it different materials. So instead of using titanium and, and aluminum and things like that, these are using composite diaphragms and give it a much different character than traditional compression drivers can give. So these new compression drivers use much fewer parts. They're far more integrated. And then because they don't use the traditional aluminum and titanium diaphragms, they're much sweeter sounding and far less aggressive at very high outputs. And then all the systems, including the A12, the A8, and the A6, are using the exact same compression drivers. And that's what gives us that sonic compatibility and the sonic consistency across the, these different lines. So that all comes from the compression driver. Now, the other big aspect of the A6 is the acoustic design. So when we look at the A6 from the front, it's using two 6.5 inch woofers and one compression driver. And the big thing I wanted to do with the A6 was to create a very large horn for the compression driver. So we wanted to load the compression driver correctly and then have really, really good directivity. That's another good, good uh, aspect of the A series. They have really good directivity. So for the A6, you can see that the two 6.5 six inch woofers are loaded to this RBI waveguide. So the RBI is the plastic horns that we see in front of the system, which controls our spacing between woofers and gives us that really nice directivity and really nice control. So later when we play the A6, feel free to walk left to right and hear how consistent the system, system is from one side to the other. And that thanks to the acoustic design, that's th thanks to the RBIs and all these devices, acoustic devices we have in front of the woofers to control how the lows and the highs behave and how they integrate together. So that's another view of the inside of the speaker. So you can see the two six and a half inch woofers here loaded onto an AV arrangement, our unique compression driver in the system. And then there's a small passive network internally uh, to cross the highs and the lows together. So the A6, it's a fully passive system and requires only one amplifier channel for the entire processing, okay? So here we can see our two woofers, our low frequency ports on the sides, and then the compression driver and the crossover behind that. Now, JBL is a, is a unique company because we, we design all of our transducers in-house. So going back many, many years ago, JBL was actually first a transducer company, and then it became a system company after that. So we still maintain that tradition, which is, again, unique to us, that we design all of our own woofers and compression drivers for our system. So when we start developing some of these products, we start with the requirements of the products, then we get with our transducer team and design specific components for these systems. And for the A6, uh, the, the main thing was the woofer, right? So it's a compact system, and what makes a compact system loud and gives us a high pressure are the woofers. So for the A6, we ended up designing a, a new custom six and a half inch woofer, which is very, very powerful to keep up with the highs and give such a compact system the output levels that we require. And this new woofer has uses two voice coils. In, usually woofers use one voice coil internally. Uh, the, the, this new woofer uses two voice coils, which give us, gives us twice the power of traditional woofers. And then it gives us much better heat dissipation and, again, much better output uh, to keep up with the highs and create a very compact and, and powerful system. So custom HF, the same as the A12 and the A8, and then a brand new custom woofer 
to support that HF to get to those uh, high output levels required. The B15 uses our same acoustic uh, principles as the B28 and the B18. Uh, so we see the single 15 inch in the center and then corner ports uh, for our low frequency ports. And then this also has a brand new 15 inch woofer developed specifically for the B15. And that uses the same technology from the A6 where we have dual voice coils. So this is using two four inch voice coils, two neodymium magnets and two gaps. So we have double the power dissipation power handling, much better power dissipation to again uh, create that very high output. 